Hello everyone, Shravan Mantri here. Welcome to our channel, CSC Gurus. We are done with plus minus in the previous video. Now we will see staircase. If you are not able to get the question, I have given the link in the description, you can get from there. It's a program asking to print the pattern. Like here n equals 4 it is given, you have to print the hash 4 rows, like first row 1 hash, second row 2 hash, third row 3, fourth row 4. If I give n equals 5 means in one more row you will get it as 5 rows. Of course we will see another example here as a sample test case. Here it is given n equals 6 where you have to print the hash has to be first row, one hash, second row, two, third row, three like this six rows you must print it. If n value 10 means you must make it 10 rows. And also one more thing you observe the first hash should not print on the n left aligned. It's if the monitor screen is like this you should give the spaces followed by hash. Anyway, next row also like this. I'll try to explain an easy manner how to make it. Anyway, first thing, in order to make it very clear, I must print without spaces. I'll try to print like this hash, two hash, three hash like this. Let us take four rows. Now once it is printed, now we need to take this one. There are three things to be taken into consideration. The first thing, you have to print the spaces. Now second thing, is it spaces followed by hash or hash followed by spaces? Yes, space followed by hash. Remember this point. Third one, are the spaces in every or same? Every row are same? No, spaces are decreasing, you can see. Maybe here some spaces, next it is decreased, decreased, decreased like this. So spaces are in decreasing manner. So if it is decreasing what you need to do, if it is increasing what you need to do. I'll explain here, not only this pattern, if it is similar to this, if it is given how to answer this question. So that's what I want to explain here. Now before starting this pattern also, without spaces, I'll try to print instead of one hash, I want to print one. Next two hashes, I want to print 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this, I want to print it. First, I'll try to make it this one. After getting this one, anyway, in the answer, instead of printing a number, you must print hash, you will get this one. After that, I'll explain how to answer this entire pattern, which is our output. So, we are writing the code in Python. So, we are going to the method staircase here. Here, we need to write the code. First thing, in order to print 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, that means anyway, any pattern you want to print it, mostly we use nested for loop. So here also I'll try to write a nested for loop. For it's i loop, i in range, I'll keep it empty, I'll try to write it afterwards. For j also nested for loop, in range, again I'll keep this also empty. And anyway, you must print what to be printed. So you have to print something. Is it I or J? We don't know. But after printing, we should give no space here. So end equals to no space. So this is what I'll write it. Now once a row is done, I want to print. Once the J loop is done, I want to print one space. So I'll write print. Let us suppose if I write here, if I write here, Generally, if I want to print all 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows, 4 columns, generally what we write, we'll make it I loop starts from 1 up to 4, which means 1 plus, I mean, 4 plus 1, 5 I need to write. So that means it goes, I loop goes 4 times. J loop also starts from 1 up to 5. J loop also goes 4 times and I want to print J. You can see if I write like this, what is the output we'll get it. Let us see this one by checking here click on test again as custom input which means you will give some n value according to the n value you will get the output here the basic one so if i give here 5 i've given 5 here i hope it is visible to you i've given here 5 i have given here n value 5 but irrespective of the input because i didn't give any n value here so just run the code what is the output of course it's not with respect to 5 it printed four rows four columns you can see one two three four like this four rows four columns because i loop went for one up to four four times j loop also four times but in our question we need to repeat for n number of rows 
So let us suppose if I give instead of 5, I'll give n. In order to make it n, I'll give it as n plus 1. Here also I'll give it as n plus 1. So now it will work according to n value. Now if I give n value as something like 5, what is the output you can see? Just run the code. So it is printing. If it is 5 means you can see 5 rows, 5 columns. Like this it is printing. So whenever you write the code like this, 1 up to 5, 5 plus 1 which is 6, which means it goes up to 5 times like this. What if, if I give n value something like 10? So it goes, you can see, or, the, or else I'll give 8. If I give 8, you can see, run the code. So the output you can see, 8 rows, 8 columns, like this it will print. Now we don't want first row all the 8 values, we want to print 1 only, second row 1, 2, third row 1, 2, 3, like this. That means your columns must be constrained. It's not printing every row all the n values, but we want only few values which are equals to row number. For example, first row, one value, second row, two, third row, three, which means you must update j should not go up to n plus one, j should go up to i times, which means I'll write i plus one. For example, i value one, j loop will go only one time. If i value two, j will go only two times. If i value three, j will go only three times. Now you can see the output. If I give eight, the output you can observe. Yes, you can see 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, like this we got it, which is our required one, like this. For every row, according to the row value, first row 1, two, second row 2 values, like this. So this is what the answer we have written for this one. Now, what we need to print actually, we have to print hash, not the numbers. So simply, instead of printing J, what you need to take here is to print hash, simply. And we will try to write hash instead of j value. We want to write hash. Now you can see, is it printing the hashes according to the n value? Yeah, you can see one hash, two, three. So which is our required one? This is what we got it. Now, what is our question? It's not left aligned. If you see the question once again, it's a right aligned one. So in order to get the right aligned, I told you to remember these three points. Printing the spaces. Now go to the answer which we have written. In order to print the spaces, the first constraint, in order to print the spaces, what I need to do is, I need one more loop. I need one more loop, which is K loop, must be written inside I loop. I need one more loop. That is K loop I have to write here. So for K in range, I'll try to write afterwards what is K, but K is only used to print spaces. So I'll try to write print and equals to one space here. So K is used only to print. And also you can see K and J are the parallel loops. They are not nested for loops. You can see how. So K and J are inside I loop. I and K are nested, I and J are nested, but K and J are, J are not nested for loops. So two separate for loops, K loop is to print spaces, J loop is to print numbers or hash. And those must be in one single row, you can see. So that is the first thing we need to know, print spaces. And second thing, is it space followed by hash or hash followed by space? If you see the question, so space followed by hash, if you see the question. So that's why for space we have written K loop, for hash I have written J loop. So that's why I have written first K loop, then followed by J loop. So K, it will give spaces followed by hash. Then it comes to the next line for this, this printf statement. That is on line number 21. Now the third one, spaces are in the decreasing order. Now what you need to do in order to get this in the decreasing order like this. One simple thing you must remember so that any sort of the pattern which is given as a right angle triangle like this, you can answer. So the thing is, you must check it out. If it is increasing spaces, your i and k should start with the same value. And if it is decreasing spaces, your k should start with last value of i. So the conclusion point for this third one is, if it is increasing spaces, k should start with i first value. And if it is decreasing spaces, k should start with i last value. So in order to print it, it's a decreasing order. If it is increasing order, K should start with one comma I. Simple, 
लाइक दिस वी कैन मेक इट बट वी नीड डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर विच मीन्स यूअर के शुड स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज द लास्ट वैल्यू ऑफ आई वॉट इज द लास्ट वैल्यू आई हैव रिटर्न हियर एन प्लस वन विच मीन्स इट मस्ट स्टार्ट विथ एन सो एन टू आई नाउ शेल वी राइट के लूप फ्रॉम डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर और इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर इन ऑर्ड टू मेक इट सिंपली चेक इट आउट वॉट इज एन वैल्यू यू हैव टेकन फ्रॉम हियर सेकेंड वैल्यू नाउ चेक इट आउट विद द फर्स्ट वैल्यू एन वन एन एनी वे ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल्स टू वन नेवर इट इज लेस दैन राइट सो दैट्स वाई सिंपली मेक इट माइनस वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर यू हैव समथिंग लाइक टेन हियर यू हैव समथिंग लाइक ट्वेंटी नाउ यू हैव टू राइट टेन लेस दैन ट्वेंटी यस सो you have to make it plus it's not required here but here if it is greater than if it is greater than you must write minus 1 now we can see always anyway i is common whatever you write it's a increasing order or decreasing order i is common in order to make it very clear i have already uploaded a video on patterns in c language where i explained how easily you can solve any pattern i'll give the link in the description you can watch it from there you can get any pattern with easily any big pattern now run the code yeah you can see the output like this we got it how easily you can make it if you know this one now i'll try to execute the same with respect to program inputs just run the code yeah test case is passed now submit the code so all the test cases is passed it's a code which is very simple but if you know this logics how to get the j loop how to write the k loop so this will become very easy if you follow these rules we'll get it very easily we are done with staircase we'll see mini max sum in the next video lecture thank you and also i recommend you to watch the top 90 data structure mcqs and here i kept totally 18 videos which is of 5 mcqs each video uh, even i kept all those 90 questions as a single video that is top 90 data structures mcqs you can watch this one also which is of almost 4 hours you can see each one you can either go for playlist or you can watch it as a single video